Hello everyone, welcome to Lifetime Learning. Today we are going to see how to use Simscape to design electronic circuits. To do so, type Simscape in your command window. And it will open the library containing foundation library, Sim Electronics, Utilities and more. And we need these three things. Okay, for that, you need to design a circuit, you need to open a new model. I've already opened and save it as save it with a name. I've just named it as not one. I'm designing an inverter, CMOS inverter now. So here is a circuit from Wikipedia and we are having a VDD supply and ground here and a P transistor CMOS P MOSFET and N MOSFET and an input and output is taking at the rhymes and input is giving at the gates of MOSFETs. Okay. We'll design this using this library. Okay. Open sim sim electronics in that you will find sim semiconductor devices open them and you will find n mos n channel mosfet and p channel mosfet just copy them drag them into your model and the p should be at the top and n should be at the bottom so place them and then connect the drains and connect the gates okay and now we need a battery as VDD and okay we don't have anything here go to utilities and you'll find Parkings here, you need these three. Strike them. Okay. Close it. And in foundation library, in electrical. So we are having three here. One is sources and sensors and elements. In sources section, you need control voltage source. You take this here and in sensors you need voltage sensor places here okay then in electrical elements you need electrical reference bring it and bring a resistor into your circuit okay now close this try to connect this okay so we need to ground the VDD and the N MOSFET here. Okay. Then you rotate this by pressing Ctrl R. Okay. Now just by then and connect this to here and then you again rotate this control R and set them all and bring them into the middle okay now so right click and drag to copy the element connect this and connect this positive terminal here to sense the output okay this is the solver main important section to solve this circuit okay then connect this positive terminal here which gives input and the negative terminal is to be grounded and here is the main thing we are having two blocks here one is PS2 simulink and another one is simulating to PS. 
so we are taking the simulating signal but it won't take the simulating signal it won't connect hence we are taking simulating to physical converter and through that we are giving to control voltage source from that we are connecting the signal to our inverter okay similarly we are taking physical signal but we are seeing on scope that is a simulating block so we need to convert it back to simulating signal that's why we are taking physical to simulating converter here then now we need source and sync block so in simulating section go to sources find the sign wave here and add it okay then in sync you find scope here and add it now we want to see the both signal together for that we need mux in signal routing you'll find mux and add it to the circuit okay then you bring them out you select and move with your navigation keys okay. just bring them out of the circuit Just make that a little bit for my convenience to, convenience to drag it. Okay, now we need the score block here and should be connected. And we are going to see the input. Okay, connect this. Now, what we want to do so specify the input. It should be more than the threshold of your transistor. So I am giving 6 as my amplitude and 2 radians per second as my frequency and phase as 5 over 2. Then click on OK and mm, I think everything is done right. Yes. So, go to this or in simulating model configuration parameters or press Ctrl E to open this. And here we need to change this solver block to ODE15S stick NDF. Okay, click on this and click OK. Now we'll check the output. Yeah, it's running. Double click on this and you will see this output. Okay. So I just auto scaled it and so I can see my six holes input and this is my threshold okay now what's happening here at after reaching the threshold my input is 1 so the output is wrong means 0 so when it is crossing the threshold input is crossing the threshold and my input is 0 then so my output is high that is VDD so we have just implemented inverter circuit using simscape so we can do many things like this using simscape thanks for watching please do like and subscribe for more, more videos thank you